Are you gonna try to jump up here again? Every time I get up, I have to move you. Don't look at me like that. It's not your chair. <laughs> okay, so I asked you on Instagram and uh, to see like what you wanted to see. And you guys were like, new makeup because I have a ton of new makeup and it's all like kind of similar in the same vein. So I was like, why don't we just like play with it basically? Really quick, I just wanted to say, I got these earrings when I was in New York and they're dope as fuck. Like, look at this. Isn't that so sick? And then this is a feather. I got the feathers in a set and then this guy was a single, but um, I wanted to mix and match. Fun. Anyway, all right, so some of the products that I have are, we've got the new Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Enlivening Blush, blushes? Are there three colors? I think there's three. I don't know if there's three total, but uh, super pretty. She sent those to me. She also sent, um, super excited about these, new glosses. I think I, I don't know if I ever even tried the red gloss, the, the velvet ribbon gloss. I literally have it here. I don't know if I tried it. Uh, so we've got, I think matching glosses, super pretty. Uh, we have a lipstick, which, you know, they're, her, you know, her lipsticks are my absolute favorites. So I'm intrigued by this color. It's kind of like interesting. Cause I, I see some warmth in it. I don't know. I'm going to have to, um, oh, I touched my nose. I'm going to have to try that. Is this a matte? I believe so. I'm pretty sure all of hers are like, it's called Kitten Mischief. Adorable. Um, so I've got those. Oh, and then also some glowy things. Elevated Glow. Seamless Skin once again. We have Crystal Nebula and Cosmic Rose. So they're like liquid illuminators, basically. This one's really pretty. It's got um, just like a really gorgeous kind of golden whatever. And then this one's a little bit more um, rosy, you know, just a little bit more like pink in it, neutrally kind of. You can see some olive in here, I think, if you literally look. Uh, so we've got that. We also have some stuff from Sigma Beauty. They sent lip glosses. Glo you guys, glosses, cream blushes. It's the thing right now. It's the glow. So we've got Sigma uh, lip glosses to go over, which is like similar colors. I feel like Makeup always happens in like those trends. Like you see all these people coming out with like similar products all at the same time. It's like, it's summer. So it's like cream blushes and like lip gloss and like juice, juice. Uh, I also got these Kat Von D, sorry, KVD. Um, I think these are blushes too. Liquid gel blush as well. So we have four colors, peach, what kind of looks like a plum, maybe a burgundy and then like a more pinky color. You know, so we're gonna check those out. More cream blushes, Dominique Cosmetics. Um, these are poured, poured cream blushes. And we have like these colors here. You can see, I mean, it's basically like always, you know, we have something deeper, a softer pink and a coral. You know what I mean? So we'll see about those. Becca Cosmetics, super confused. Is Becca alive or not? Don't know. They sent me a, uh, Highlighter, Shimmering Skin Perfector in High Angel. I believe this was a collaboration with somebody, but now I've forgotten. And, or it's like a charity thing. I can't remember, I have to look it up, but it looks really pretty. It's like this very soft pink color, it's like cool toned pink. You can see, I don't know if you can really tell, but there's like a blue almost overtone, like turquoise almost, pearl on top. And then a little bit warmer of like a pinky, like nude pinky, beigey color, if that makes sense. But I'm interested in that. Uh, <laughs> I'll just show you fucking everything. And then, uh, <laughs> I'm just choking on my words. Uh, Huda Beauty Glow Wish bronzers, kind of cheap packaging, but like whatever. Um, so I have, I mean, she sent three colors. I obviously don't need the darkest one. So I donated that, but I was interested in the, these two. So this is the more medium and this is the light one. So we'll check that out as well. So basically we're just gonna be playing with some new makeup. This is gonna be chill. Uh, I'm not wearing any foundation because I'm gonna have to like remove and reapply. So first things first, man, I'm really excited about the Lisa Eldridge blushes. There's actually, the, I saw a photo of What's her name? Madison Beer? Who is that? Can someone tell me? I could Google it. I'm not going to. 
Um, I saw a photo of her and I think, who did her makeup? I wanna say Mary Phillips, I can't remember, but she was wearing like this kind of a color on her cheeks and her lips. And I was like, I have to do this makeup. Let me know if you wanna see that. Anyway, wait, I think I have a photo of it. I'll show it to you. Cause like potentially you wouldn't be interested or maybe someone else has done the tutorial and they already nailed it. Look at this fucking, oh no, Madison. Addison Ray. I don't, it's Addison Ray. Who's Madison Beer? Who's Addison Ray? Could you guys let me know? Cause I don't know who these people are. Anyway, um, I saw this photo and I was just like, this is the most beautiful makeup. Why can I not zoom in? There we go. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, 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 oh. Stunning. Obsessed. Look at that blush. Look at that lip. Ugh. I can't. Anyway, I want to do that makeup regardless. Uh, it's one of those things where I'm like, do you want to see it? Cool, because I'm going to do it anyway. Gorge. Anyway, um, but this color, that's like that color. So this is Pink Poetry, the Lisa Eldridge Enlivening Blush. So it's like a little uh, squeeze tube. Let's pop it out. Ooh, okay. Interesting. I feel like this is going to be... Um, Oh, it's way more pigmented than I was expecting. Oh, but it's very soft. Ooh, <sighs> that's really pretty. That's gonna, this is gonna be beautiful on the lips as well. Ooh, wow. Look at that. It's like a stain. That's so pretty. I don't know how to like apply these. I think I'm just gonna use my finger because we're just going on clean skin. It comes, it's, it's kind of hard to like squeeze out, but I think that's by design because um, it could build up a little bit too much. But when I first put it down, I was like, oh my God, that's way too pigmented. And then I started blending it out and I really liked the color. So let's see what happens. Maybe this is too much, but I just feel like it's blends into the skin like so, or my hand at least, like really nicely. So I just put it down with one finger. Now I'm using a clean finger to kind of just like blend around the edges. And once again, I'm just wearing like sunscreen and some primers. Wait, did I say that in this video? I'm just wearing sunscreen and some primers. <laughs> that is such a pretty color. Is that beautiful? I need to zoom you in more. Look how pretty that is. So like natural and juicy. Absolutely stunning. Mm, I love that. I want to put that on my lips. I wonder if it's like, I'm gonna take off my lip balm. I wonder if it would um like last as like a stain. Like I wonder how, what the staying power is gonna be. Oh God, that looks so pretty. It's just like a very nice natural like stain. I'm obsessed. Mm. But you can just tell like by looking at that color on my, on my hand. It also seems like, like when you look at it, it's quite pigmented. So it feels like it would be um, pretty easy to build up for deeper skin. I don't know for sure, but she's a professional makeup artist. So I feel like she would have that in mind, you know? Anyway, that's really pretty. I like that a lot. Uh, I want to try a, a similar color on the other side. Um, I think Dominique Cosmetics had one. This isn't really similar, is it? No, that's not really similar. Hmm, that's close-ish. So this is the KVD, uh, what's that? Luminary? Luminary number 50 Mod Con Liquid Gel Blush. So once again, it's in a squeeze tube. Ooh, a lot came out. It's definitely way more liquidy. Definitely way more. It looks kind of like a gloss. Oh, very liquidy. Hmm. It's a little bit sticky for me to see if it like blends. It's incredibly sheer. Like if I compare, you can see the color here nicely and it kind of like blends into my skin and doesn't really like manipulate the form. <laughs> Not that my skin is a formula right now, but like it doesn't manipulate like the finish on my skin. And on this side, it's very, very dewy and I don't really see that much color to be honest. Like, do you? I see a tiny bit, uh, but it's a little bit hard to pick up. And it definitely makes my skin look um, very dewy. I'm gonna try to build it up a little bit more, but I'm a little afraid that it's gonna just look like, it literally looks like some kind of a lip gloss. This is also, it's, no, it's not the darkest color. There are two darker colors. So this is like a more light to medium, maybe. Maybe if I, concentrate it a little bit more and then just dot it. 
Doing the same thing, taking a clean finger and going around the edges. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. That's like really, really dewy. If you're if you're into if you have very dry skin and you need that hydration, then this would probably be nice because it's like feels like a lightweight oil kind of, you know, like something that's gonna like absorb into the skin and, and would be nice, but I'm just I think I'm a little too oily for that. Like that is just not a look for me. You know what I mean? That on the other hand, that's a look. The colors are are um similar like the color looks pretty i can build it up but it's also like incredibly sheer when you first put it down and i'm just not into that um i'm gonna put this on my lips and see how that goes this is actually a really nice little lips hmm that's pretty hmm i like that it's like a nice it's like somewhere in between a gloss you know it looks a little bit more like a lip serum with like with like a tinted lip serum almost like it's not even really an oil I like that. That's really nice. That seems so much better for the lips than the, than the cheeks. I'm definitely gonna use these, but probably on my lips because I think that just looks so much nicer. Like that lip with um, the Lisa Eldridge cheek thing, whatever it's called, seamless cheek situation. That's not a look. That's not a look. Those crinkly under eyes are not a look. I'm gonna try one of the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. This color is really pretty. Kind of like goes with everything. This is um Songbird. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I've ever used her uh, lip glosses. I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of the doe foot. It's kind of, it's pretty scratchy. It hurts a little bit. Hmm. That is so pretty. I love that color. Absolutely beautiful. It looks stunning with the blush. Ooh, I love it. It's like the perfect amount of color too, you know? But I don't like the doe foot. The doe foot was um, really scratchy. I wonder if it's like that for all of them. Let me, hold on. Let me check. Let's try this guy. This is um, actually, let's try this one. I like this color. This is really cool. This is um, in the shade of Fair. It's like a mocha. Oh, that one feels better. Uh, it feels a little better. It's still a little bit scratchy though. They're like relatively pigmented. I'm a little surprised. I don't know if I like it that pigmented. This one does, this doe foot does feel better, but it doesn't, it's not like the softest material. Blend that out. I think I would like this um, a little more sheer. Yeah, that's, that's nice. That's the nice thing about them though. They are like more pigmented than I was expecting. Actually, I think I like that other color a lot better. I don't know if I like a warm like that, a warm nude like that. I can't handle this like gloss on my face. <laughs> it's too much. It's just like not working for me. That looks really pretty um, sheared out though. Let me try the Lisa Eldridge, the dewy thing. Is this a doe foot? It's a doe foot. Okay, so this is like kind of like a golden color. Let's do it over here. Hmm, that's a really pretty color though. It really complements my skin tone, I think. And that, because it's a little bit more um, strategic, the placement of the highlighter is so much more pleasing to me than this. You know what I mean? Like this just kind of looks like grease, whereas this looks like a nice glow and sheen. I don't know if those two colors are the best together, but I don't know, you'll have to let me know. It's also a little bit weird because I'm not wearing any makeup. I like that one. It's really pretty. Um, okay, let's try the Dominique Cosmetics blushes. I love this peach color. This is um, warm peach. Like, you know what I mean? That's just like a color that like, that's the way to my heart right there. Just like a, an orangey peach color. I don't know. Um, but they're all really pretty. This is soft pink. Very pretty, you know, like a nice sort of like basic neutrally pink. And then we have natural rose, which is deeper, but it's warmer. It's almost like got a little bit of terracotta in it. Very interested in these. So let's try, I'm actually gonna try this like pink color. I'm gonna apply this once again with my fingers. That might've been too much. 
Same deal. Placing it down with one finger and then just kind of like patting around the edges. That's very pretty. This is interesting because it's kind of somewhere in between. It feels like a little bit balmy when I touch it. It glides over the skin really nicely. Um, it's obviously like sheer enough that it blends well. And I would say that maybe it gives a little bit more of a sheen on my skin than the Lisa Eldridge one, but it's nowhere near those KVD glosses. <laughs> it's basically what they were. But yeah, it gives a little bit more of a sheen, but that's a very pretty color. I like that. I actually wanna try the um, darkest one on the other side. So I'm just using my finger. These are nice. I feel like they're very versatile. Like you can definitely build, well, that was way too much. You can definitely build up the pigment. Like I feel like each color is versatile. I don't know how, I mean, obviously like the lightest peach maybe wouldn't show up on like deeper skin. Um, even the like medium pink, but this darker color, this side is always at a disadvantage because I've got all these breakouts here. But the color seems really nice. Like I can get away with wearing that. I don't know. People with deeper skin will have to let me know what they think. Uh, somebody in whatever vid, I can't remember what video this was. It was the video where I talk about the basics of blush, I think. Someone commented and said that Kosas has uh, more pigmented counterparts to all of their blushes, specifically for deeper skin, which I did not know. And I think is fucking awesome. I, actually, I have to look that up. I hope that that's like true, <laughs> um, but that's amazing. But yeah, that, that's sheared out really nicely. It looks a little different, doesn't it? Like this side looks a little bit more dry than this side. Maybe it needs to um, be worked in a little bit more. I don't know, I really like that too. Oh yeah, I wanted to try the um, new Sigma lip glosses. So we've got a, like a clear, almost peachy color. Like there's like a little bit of a tint. And then we have more of like a mauve dark color or mauve or whatever you call it something a little bit more like slightly warm. And then it's, I don't know what you call that, like a rose. I don't know. Uh, obviously the clear one is the one that I wanna try, but I'm gonna try this guy, which is, is it just called Tint? Yeah, this is just called Tint. So this is called the Renew Lip Oil, enriched with jojoba oil, sunflower seed oil, and vitamin E. Okay. Hmm. That's glossy. Hmm. That's nice. They're very lightly tinted. Like I hardly see color, but you can like obviously see a little bit of a tint. A lot goes on the uh, doe foot though. So you don't even really need to like go back in. I'm gonna try. They're definitely thicker. I can feel the vitamin E thicker than the Lisa Eldridge glosses, but obviously not as pigmented. I wouldn't describe them as sticky. They are thicker though. Very hydrating. I like them. I like the, uh, I like how sheer they are. Cause you hardly see any color. I'm not big on like pigmented glosses. I don't know why. I just kind of feel like, I don't know. They don't really appeal to me. I always end up just kind of like blending them out. I just want to um, lip swatch this Lisa Eldridge lipstick. Hmm. What? I can't tell if it's just because I've like removed a lot of lip products from my lips or if this is meant to not be as pigmented as her other lipsticks because the other ones are matte and they're much more like there's just much more payoff. This is like very sheer, you know, like you still obviously get color, but it's just like it's a little bit more sheer and it's not matte. It's like a creamy somewhere in between a cream and a satin, I would say. Hmm. Is this weird? with me not having a ton of makeup on, I just I just figured like, I'm gonna be trying a bunch of different products, so I shouldn't, I'm gonna have to like remove it, you know what I mean? Let's try the other, I'm hopping around like crazy. Let's try the other Lisa Eldridge glow thingy. This is in the shade Cosmic Rose. So it's just kind of just like more of a, a nude, in my opinion, we'll have to see how it goes on. This is obviously over top the Dominique Cosmetics blush. Very dewy, very dewy. Well, so much more glow than, for whatever, I don't know why, but so much more glow than I had been anticipating. A little bit definitely goes a long way. It's not wet, but it gives you that 
look, you know? It feels like there's like on kind of a lightweight oil and then obviously pearl. It's a really beautiful sheen. Look at that. That's really pretty. It's yeah, it's just much more, much more dewy than what I had been expecting. I really love the way this is obviously the Dominique Cosmetics blush and it looks nice with it, but I really love the combination of this with the Lisa Eldridge blushes. I think, here's what I think I'm gonna do, because I have those bronzers and then like the powder highlights that I wanna try. I think I'm gonna um, do some makeup, like a base really quick, and then come back and uh, create a look with probably the Lisa Eldridge stuff. And then we'll finish, we'll try the bronzers and the highlight. That's what we're gonna do. Dude, it's chill. We don't know what we're doing. It's, we're just chilling. All right, I just did like a very light base. Um, let's zoom out a little bit. <laughs> Just a little. And I wanna go in with the bronzer. So I have the two Huda Beauty ones. And I don't know, this one just seems like a little bit too neutrally. This, that's the lightest one. And then this is um, a little bit more warm, but I don't know how like, let me swatch them. They also seem like kind of thick. Oh, okay, so the slightly darker one, this is the like more medium one. It's very, very like orangey, which I do tend to like lean towards. And then that's the lightest one. Hmm, I think I'm actually gonna, I feel like that's just way too much for my skin. So I actually think I am gonna use the lightest one. They do feel like kind of thick though. Like they're really like, I don't know, kind of, um, mm, I don't know how to describe it. Like a little bit oily almost, whatever. I'm gonna use my like little M510. Oh wait, she launched brushes, but I don't like them. They're like very, well, they feel soft, but they're just like very stiff and I'm like confused by them. Like, is this to contour? I don't really know. And then there's this one too, which like, so this is the bronze and blush brush. And then this is the airbrush finish. Don't know, I'm not gonna use that. I guess I can try this for bronzer. It just seems so like, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just try it. I'm a little nervous about this. Like, I'm just not entirely sure how to use it. Maybe I'll like it though. So far, so good. <laughs> I just kind of feel like I have to use it as like a paintbrush. You know what I mean? Cause it's not like this kind of, it just doesn't seem like it's this kind of thing. The color does actually look kind of nice. Maybe this would be good. Cause like, um, it's still allowed because of the like, and it sort of still allows for precision around my hairline. But I don't know, I just kind of feel like I'm dragging it down my skin and I'm not like so wild about that. But it does appear to be like blending fairly nicely. I don't know, can you see it? I don't put like a ton, I don't usually like apply a ton of bronzer. The, um, the tone does look nice and it's adding like a decent amount of warmth, I think. Just kind of like a nice outer glow. I don't really know how to apply it to my cheeks. <laughs> Maybe a sort of a similar thing, kind of like sculpt a little. I think that's like what this is supposed to be. Like a, a brush that doubles as like a sculpting brush because it does have this kind of like sharper edge. It just feels um, a little too stiff for my liking. It's actually very lightweight. I'm actually like not really seeing that much product going down, surprisingly. Maybe I'll build it up with um, my M510. Cause like I can see it, but not that much, you know? Weird, okay. I'm gonna use my um, M510 just cause I feel like I'm not really seeing the product. Maybe it does feel like it's, um, like when I swatched it, it felt kind of thick. The product, the powder itself felt like there was a lot of um, oil in it, you know, like it's a little more dense, but I think it's kind of hard to pick up on the brush for whatever reason. That actually helped build it up a little bit. It's not too bad. Let's go around here. Dude, I don't know. I can't tell if it's like showing up for some reason, you guys will have to let me know. I feel like the tone is nice though. It's not like too red, 
You know, it's like a nice neutral color. It seems nice, the formula seems nice. You know, the color seems nice. That medium, more medium one is definitely way too orange for me. Um, okay, so I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna pick a blush, I think. I think I'm gonna use the uh, Lisa Eldridge, because I, I think I wanna save this for, I think I'm gonna do, what, what was her name? Addison Ray. I think I'm gonna do that tutorial, so I'm gonna think I'm gonna save that for this, this for that. So I'm gonna use the, um, once again, they're called the Enlivening Blush, and this is in the shade Pink, Pink Soap. So it's kind of like a pretty neutrally. So I'm gonna pick that, I'm gonna apply it with my finger. So I'm gonna like, just, uh, this is probably way too much. But fuck it. I have to, I have to get the amounts even. It's an obsession of mine. Oh no, that's perfect amount. Love, love it. It just immediately, like as soon as I touch it to my skin, it starts to melt in and it just looks like a stain. It's so beautiful. Huge fan, huge fan of this. Love the finish, love the color. Ooh. It literally just looks like it melts into, it looks like it's just a part of, oh. I'm obsessed. I love that so much. And I feel like I always have a really hard time applying these kinds of things with my fingers, but this is like so easy. Like I'm always, especially once I have like a base on, I'm always very reluctant to just apply things with my fingers. I'm, I'm usually like more inclined to use a sponge um, or even a brush, but this is kind of just too perfect. Beautiful, it's so pretty. I love that so much. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on a, I'm gonna be crazy, I'm gonna put a little bit of that on the tip of my nose. And then I think I'm gonna use the uh, golden one, illuminator thingy. I'm gonna do, cause I think I put a little too much on, so I'm gonna do the same thing, like put a little bit on my fingers and just like keep it to the high point up here. Cause I like, I love that glossy look but it needs to be strategic you know so i'm not taking it down too far i'm literally just focusing it right here up to the brow bone and i think that color just kind of like blends into my skin tone really nicely um okay another thing that uh this is random this is just like this literally just came from amazon someone suggested this and it's the maybelline color sensational shaping lip liner in the color gone grage and i can't remember if they were saying that it was just a very good contouring lip color lip liner or if they were saying that it was a dupe for lime crime topist i swatched it it's definitely not a dupe for lime crime topist i mean it's close but it's like much more gray and darker but i think i'm gonna line my lips with this and uh maybe do that lip situation um I use this as my contour. So placing it and it's a little bit lighter than like the Endless Cacao and a little more purpley. I do like the color of it. Seems like a really nice, um, like slightly more natural contour color. And the formula is pretty creamy. All right, and then I'm gonna go in, ooh, oh Jesus. Uh, I'm just gonna use my, I'm gonna use NYX. Oh no, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna use my NYX Nude Beige lip liner to finish that. And yeah, that's pretty. It's like a little lighter. It's a little um, lighter and more purpley than Unless Cacao, but it's darker than uh, Nude, uh, not Nude Beige, sorry. I mean, it is darker than Nude Beige. Uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> But it's um, a little darker than Lime Crime Topist, but it's a nice color and I do think that it would be good for like a more natural contouring. Thank you to whoever um, suggested that color. I do like it. Uh, and then for my lip gloss, for my lip color, I'm gonna go in with the Lisa Eldridge uh, Songbird gloss and I'm just going to, I'm taking a little bit off and I'm just gonna do one. So I'm not gonna dip back in. Just gonna blend into. Uh, so I'm gonna keep it a little bit more sheer, and then I'm just gonna blend into the lip liners. It's really nice. Yeah, I really like that. I'm just not a. I'm not a fan of the doe foot. That's the only thing about these lip glosses. But the formula is stunning. Like absolutely beautiful. I love that you can like build it up and create a little bit more pigment. 
and tone it down. These are all really nice. I'm pretty happy with everything. I actually really like, I think I do like the bronzer. I just am having a hard time like seeing, but I, I'm, I'm having a hard time like seeing it, but I think that's kind of a good thing because my face doesn't look like pale. Like I feel like I, it added like a nice amount of warmth and I do like the tone of it. The Lisa Eldridge blushes are absolutely stunning. So happy with them. Like love the colors. Uh, I would be interested to hear, obviously like, I feel like these two colors, um, Dante's, I also don't know if she sent me all of them. I have to look it up. Like, I don't know if she sent me just like some colors, the ones that she thought would be good for me. So yeah, I have to look into that if she has more colors for like deeper skin. This color does kind of seem like it would build up more for like medium at, at the very least. So I do like that. I like that they can be sheared out and built up. And I like that they don't manipulate your like skin formula. Skin formula, why do I always say that? Skin finish unlike the KVD ones. Like I wouldn't recommend these necessarily unless you have incredibly dry skin and you like something that contains like, I mean, I don't know if it has oil in it, but that's what it feels like. It feels like a, an oil that I'm putting on my face, you know? Whereas the, oh wait, did I put the, yeah, I did. Whereas the Lisa Eldridge ones are like very natural finish. They kind of just like blend into your skin tone. And then you can like add that glow with the, uh, these things, whatever they're called, elevated glow things. Um, which are really pretty, like very beautiful, you know? Which is obviously what I got going on here. I really like that a lot. But the if you do have very dry skin, maybe you would like the KVD ones. They're just like incredibly glossy. It's basically like putting a lip gloss almost or a lip oil on your, on your skin, but they're nice for the lips. <laughs> so like if you really like the colors and you think that, I don't know, maybe it's something that you've been looking for for like a lip product, I actually do think that they're like really nice because they're hydrating, but they're not like greasy um, or like a gloss. Sometimes a gloss can be sticky. This is a beautiful lip combination, I have to say, if I do say so myself. Um, what else? The Sigma glosses are beautiful. They're really nice. Obviously like more sheer, um, super hydrating. I love all Sigma products. They pretty much always nail it. Yeah, really hydrating and you, you like a little bit goes a really long way. My only criticism would be that like a lot comes off on the doe foot. So you're gonna wanna like wipe it off. It's got the little um, divot in the center to like hold product, you know? So you really don't need to keep dipping back in. What else? Yeah, the Huda Beauty, <laughs> Huda Beauty? Huda Beauty bronzers. I do like them. I do like them. I think I'm gonna keep trying it because I think I'm gonna keep going with this because I like the tone of it. It's very interesting. It's like, um pretty soft. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little, I'm like kind of um, undecided and on the fence about these. Uh, the packaging is super cheap, just saying. But like at the, I don't know, recently I've been like, who cares about packaging? Oh dude, I totally forgot about the Becca highlighter. What are we going to do? Let's, maybe I can tone this down a little bit and just go over top. Maybe that's weird. Is that weird? Whatever. It's what we're going to do. I forgot about it, especially since this is like a little bit more of a golden highlight. That kind of worked though. So this is Becca Cosmetics, Shimmering Skin Perfector in High Angel. And it's very cool toned, like incredibly. It almost looks lavender. I mean, Becca highlights are always stunning, but like, I'm a little confused. I want to know what's the deal with Becca. Like what's happening? Looks pretty pigmented. Oh geez. Ooh, that's straight up lavender. Oh, it's a really pretty glow though. I'll be honest, when Becca started like um, experimenting with more color in their highlighters, I wasn't the biggest fan. Like it was kind of cool for um, creative looks, but for just like actual life, I felt like it was a little much. That's kind of pretty though, actually. <laughs> Make up your mind. That's actually really pretty. I don't know if I'm like a lavender highlight kind of person, but like that is really actually kind of stunning. Will you guys let me know what you think? Yeah, because it's actually like really pretty. I'm pretty happy with everything that I tried today. Was that everything? Oh yeah, the Dominique Cosmetics blushes. Those are really nice too. I like those. I think the Dominique Cosmetics blushes and then the Lisa Eldridge blushes, I would recommend. Obviously it was kind of like KVD was like really, really oily. Um, Dominique Cosmetics gave like a little bit of a dew, but it was m slightly more on the like satiny natural side. And then the Lisa Eldridge blushes were like a little bit more just like very natural finish. The KV, I mean, sorry, the D Dominique Cosmetics and the Lisa Eldridge ones definitely just kind of like melted into the skin. KVD, I didn't even really see that much pigment. You had to build it up and then it just became like even more 
dewy. Uh, Lisa, Je Lisa Eldridge lip gloss is beautiful, obviously, you know? Not a huge fan of the doe foot. It's a little bit scratchy. Sigma lip gloss, stunning always. Any kind of lip product that they, honestly, all the lip, all of the products that Sigma launches, they're always beautiful. Love the Lisa Eldridge glows, glow things, <laughs> elevated glows. Um, beautiful colors, pretty self-explanatory, you know, like just a really beautiful like sheen with like a little bit of pearl gives you that like sun-kissed glow dewy skin look, but you can be a little bit more strategic with it rather than like a glossy blush. Um, and then the Huda Beauty bronzers I think are, I think they're fine. I don't think I would recommend it necessarily. I think probably because it feels like it's baked or like pre like um, I don't know, it just feels really thick. Like when I swatched it, it doesn't feel soft. It applied nicely. It applied very sheer, which is interesting. I'm definitely not a fan of the brushes because it's just really not, I don't know, that this just does not make sense to me. This makes sense to me more with like a cream bronzer, like her, um, the tan tours or whatever that's called. This would make more sense. And then I don't know what this is really for, the air, airbrush finish. I don't know what this is for. They just feel so stiff. You know? Like, I feel like this is supposed to be marketed as like a con chisel contour type thing. And yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you guys wanna see that um, tutorial with the Madison Beer or Addison Ray, whichever one it is, um, with that color, cause it's just absolutely stunning. I think it's gonna be really beautiful for summer, you know? Just like that, that colorful lip and the cheeks. And I'm also interested in getting more into like a fuller powder filled brow, random. My my new thing for, especially for summer, is just like very, very clean, lightweight coverage and juicy looking like cheeks and lips. Like I just feel like that's the way to go. Like the way that I would finish off this look probably is just like some, either using one of the, you know what, fuck it, let's just do it right now. Taking a little bit of these blushes, the Lisa Eldridge blush, and just literally putting it on my lid or maybe just going in with something um, shimmery, but just like either using your bronzer or using your blush and just like creating like a really pretty wash. Kind of just like reusing, if you feel like you need more definition, just popping in like maybe going in with bronzer or uh, with, a, with a little bit of like a crease brush um, and then using your highlighter like in your inner corner or in the center of your lid and on your brow bone, which like, let's just do that. So I'm gonna grab the bronzer, pop that on the outer part of the crease, just right there, a little more warmth and definition. I'm gonna bring it in a little bit just under my eyebrow to here. I'm gonna drag that underneath my lash line just to define and kind of like um, blend out the creases that are happening under here. And then I'm gonna grab that Becca highlight, pop a little bit in my inner corner. As much as you want. Just like a little bit of a glow, very pretty. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit on my finger, pop it in the center of the lid. And then I'm gonna do the same thing underneath my brow bone, just with my finger. Um, and since we're here, I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of a Waterproof mascara. This is the CoverGirl Lash Lash Blast waterproof. All right, <laughs> super random. I wasn't gonna like do a, a full makeup look, but um, that is the trick to like a really beautiful, just like monochromatic, cohesive makeup look. Is just incorporate your blush, highlight, and your bronzer into your eyes, because it makes it super quick. You don't have to worry about using a bunch of different products. And um, yeah, it all looks good. You know what I mean? You got everything going on. Anyway, I like all of those. Let me know if you've tried any of these products. Um, a lot of them came when I was in New York. So I obviously am just trying them now. And then let me know if you wanna see that uh, tutorial with um, the look of the girl whose name I cannot remember. All right guys, new makeup. My eyebrows need to be a little bit darker. Did I say goodbye to you yet? Um, that's it. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.